Hey Kid Nation, it's Veronica, and I'm here in Hayward, California, where I'm just about to enter a pet shop. But this is no ordinary pet shop with cute little puppies and kitties. This is the reptile room where I'm about to come face to face with lizards, tortoises, and snakes. Oh my! The reptile room is like a zoo with lots of creepy crawlies. I was starting to feel a little anxious when I met Jeff Porter, an expert reptile pet. Hi, Jeff. Hi, how are you? Good. Pleased uh, to meet you. Same here. And who is this little guy? <laughs> called a bearded dragon. Do you have any name for it? Uh, actually, no. These bearded dragons uh, are, are not pets here. There's no one for sale. Well, that wasn't so bad after all. Except that Jeff kept bringing out bigger lizards. Like this red tegu from Argentina that he cradled like a baby. They get this way, but you still have to be cautious with them. They do like earlobes, and if you're not paying attention. <laughs> well, they're not getting these earlobes. Jeff then showed me something really cool. A snake that just shed its skin. In the Philippines, that when somebody finds that a reptile has shed its skin, they normally take them and they use them as good luck. They're supposed to bring good luck to them. Whoa, I didn't know that. That's really cool. If you find one of these, I guess you'll need all the good luck knowing there's a snake around you. Jeff then brought out a lizard that many Pinoys are familiar with. A baby water monitor. Now it's my turn to teach you something. Okay. Uh, in the Philippines, it's called a bayawak. Baya does that mean something or what does that mean? I think it's just the name of the lizard. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> now these pets I can handle. These are so cute. These are pretty cool. These are tortoises. This is a Russian tortoise. Probably one of the best pets you can have. They live a long time and they're easy to take care of. Mm -hmm. Most of them are vegetarians. Jeff just showed me how big these guys can get. Oh, whoa, it's so big Hey! Wow, are you sure this isn't a Ninja Turtle, Jeff? Jeff has had him for eight years now, and he told me he likes to eat greens like kale, lettuce, and even grass. Does he help with the gardening? Yes. He can mow your lawn, it just takes a long time. Wow. <laughs> just when I thought I was getting used to all these reptiles, Jeff had the biggest surprise for me. Snake's alive! It's a Burmese python! Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, You're okay. Can this eat me? Well, it would it would have no problem uh, taking you on and probably killing you as far as eating you. It might try if it really wants to eat you, but it probably wouldn't be able to. Well, it's, it's not exactly as slimy as I thought it would be. Correct. Only when they're about to shed this when they feel wet. Jeff was just wondering if I would care to have the python around my neck. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I like it right here. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call this a reptile room for nothing. I just had one last question for Jeff before I left. Um, what do you suggest for those little young kids that want to become like you. Reptile owners? Yeah, like reptile. Start out small and make sure that you read up on what you're trying to get for yourself. Because mm -hmm. uh, some animals get very big. Uh, some animals are very aggressive, but you do have some that uh, are nice, good personalities. And it's, like I said, best to read up on it, ask questions, go to a specialized store like the reptile room, and uh, you'll get your uh, questions answered. Oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing ever. I learned so much about reptiles. I felt like I was on Animal Planet. Well, you know what? I think the best thing about today was, I think I got over my fear of reptiles. What you think? Maybe I can take on any old reptile right now. It's Veronica, and I'm here in San Jose, where I'm about to size up the apparel company Know Your Roots, right here at PI Apparel. And this makes me want to pose uh, some questions. Like, do clothes really make the person? Are we really what we wear? And if I wear a shirt that says Pinoy, does that make me 100% Filipino? Hmm. This is one adventure that 
fits me to a T. It's always exciting to learn more about my roots, and I bet I'll learn a lot from Michael today. So Michael, what is the mission of Know Your Roots? Our actual mission statement is to uh, inform, educate, and promote our culture. And we're doing it by way of apparel. To know history is to know yourself. Basically, you trace back your roots and your foundation, and you learn more about yourself, and so you can move on forward. Wow! Moving through this store is like flipping through a Philippine history book. Who's that? Well, this is uh, Jose Rizal. This is actually our national hero. I found out Rizal was a great man who saw the youth as the hope of the fatherland. My nagtex! Kaling mo, kid? Those glasses may be dorky, but they belong to a cool hero, Nino Aquino. Nino Aquino, uh, he's actually a martyr and he died for democracy. And before he died, this is what he said. The Filipino is worth dying for, democracy. Oh, you can never be too young to know your roots. Hey, Michael, I even know this. Isn't that Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao? And aren't those the three stars on the flag? And that's what it represents. And you know what Mindanao is uh, known for? Yeah, that's where Pacquiao is from. Definitely. Uh, Thanks, God. Whenever I wear a shirt that says Pinoy, it makes me feel proud. Can a simple shirt really have that effect on people? Well, I think for the most part, it is an extension of you, so it actually starts within you. Wow, I really learned about my roots today. And what you are is what you feel right here. If you're Pinoy, Wear it proudly. And most importantly, know your roots! Hi, Kadation. I'm here at the Clara Mill Manufacturing Facility. And I wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now. Mmm, cinnamon and vanilla. Yummy! You see, Clarmel is a giant bakery where Goldilocks Big Shop bakes all their goodies. And I'm going to learn how to make intimata. Come join me. No elves around here, just a lot of hardworking and friendly people kneading and stirring and baking. This place is busier than a beehive. This place is 57,000 square feet, which is almost the length of a football field. Wow! And all this space is dedicated to producing baked goods that Filipinos have known and loved for generations. Including my favorite, Insemada. Let's go make some Insemada now. Come on. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Veronica. Welcome to Carmel. Are you ready to bake your first Insemada? Yes! All right, let's go. Okay, so basically the first step is collecting all your ingredients together, and then okay. once you have them, you just put it in there and you just mix away. Okay, wait. Do you have a secret ingredient? I won't. I swear. Hmm. Well, honestly, the secret ingredient is love and care. If you have all those, you'll come up with a good product. Okay. All right. Good job, Veronica. <laughs> Thanks. What you're going to do now is you're going to shape it. So you're actually going to see the insamata come in your life. Okay. So let me show you first how it's done, okay? we got some pre-rolled ones over here. So we're going to complete this whole set right here before we bake it. Okay. What you do is you grab this dough right here, and then you stretch it out a little bit, and then you turn it around your fingers. Okay. And then you lay them on there. Like that. All right? Can you do one? Okay. All right. Brian, I bet you that my Instamata will be the best Instamata in the world. Well, you can tell this adventure is full of twists and turns. It took me a couple of tries, but once I got it right, perfection. We're just about to bake my Instamata with some patty sauce. Bye-bye. 345 degrees ought to do it. While my Insamata is baking, I'm gonna go around the factory to check out what else they make around here. I swear, this fun bakery is the greatest thing since sliced bread. 
the next thing that you're gonna do now to finish your ensamada is top it with grated cheese and sugar. Now that, Veronica, looks like a perfect set of ensamadas, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Good I, job. I just can't believe I actually baked these. At last, I get to taste the ensamada that I helped bake. Hmm. Ah, this one's too hot. Yeah, this one's too cold. This one is just right. This is Goldilocks, well, I mean Veronica, signing off. I'll see you soon.